Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zone. How are you all doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I have done a tiny little bit of upgrading off stream. Or off, off screen, sorry. Um, so I've upgraded the Petrified Axe to level 4. That's all I've done. It only took a few materials that we already have. So I haven't done any hunts or anything. Um, but this is what we're going to be using today. We're going to be using the guild style. Um, and I was looking at the quests. I think we're just going to jump into the Malfestio quest, which is our urgent. At night time in the Jurassic Frontier. So let's order a meal here. Let's go for the defense one, maybe. And then just get Defender Riser. That seems like a good choice to me. There we go, both of those activated. Okay, let's get our items out and let's jump straight into this. This is possibly record time for getting to a quest today. Uh, so yeah, the survey team ran into a mouth fest here on the Jurassic Frontier before they knew it. Everyone had either passed out or gotten so confused they don't remember a thing. Something, 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 Hunter. Yeah, you can eat bitter bugs to, um... To remove the confusion, I think. And what that, what confusion does, it reverses your controls, so it's a little bit annoying. Um... We're gonna check through, uh... Two, three, seven, four, six, five, eight, nine, eleven, ten in that order, probably. Because I'm not exactly sure where it spawns. It could kind of be anywhere. Probably not three, realistically, but you know. Might as well check while we're on the way. It's not in three, like we suspected. Not in seven. Yeah, I would think it's going to be in one of those up, one of these upper areas. Probably not five. So four's like my next best guess. Yeah, here we go. Here's the Malfestio. Glorious looking owl fella. Get our paintballs at the ready. Not a very big monster, but can be dangerous as well. And it has a heck of a roar. So that's the, I think, confusion beam thing that it can do. And he's probably going to try and charge us now. Yep. Oh, I was kind of hoping that would do an attack. He does a lot of wind shear stuff as well, so we need to be careful of that. Ah, uh, that might be the other confusion field, actually. And then the beam might be for sleep. Ow. Okay, taking a couple of hits so far. So I'm A, getting used to the Switch X, and B, getting used to this guy. got us in the middle of that. We're going to do a big explosion. Uh, that wasn't a move I could transform during. Oh, we're stunned as well. That's not good. Thankfully he did a whole lot of nothing. Let's recharge that. Energy charge. Uh, let's hover over the first aid mess. Uh, 
think he's angry now. We probably need to be a bit careful. Yeah. We do have a shiny on the ground, though. Let's grab that if we can. Apparently we can't. He said no. Okay, we got a win wing talon. Oh, we wasted our trance slash, damn it. We took off pretty quick. Oh, don't want to roll in front of him like that. Ow. Oh, we've been confused. Oh, we might die here. Okay, he knocked us into the next area. That's actually a bit of a blessing. Because that means we can just crunch down these two first aid meds and then go back in there ready for action. Let's sharpen while we're out here. This weapon has pretty good sharpness, so I'm not too worried about that. Although we have... Uh, we do bounce off his wings a little bit. But in sword mode, that doesn't really matter, because... Um... Oh, you can see the range on the roar as well. I didn't realize that. Um... What am I trying to say? Um, yeah, we, like, our sword attacks can't bounce, but it, like, does increase sharpness reduction if they would. Oh, everything's reversed now. <laughs> That's so tricky to try and deal with. Like, just immediately reversing controls in your head. Okay, he's doing nothing. Oh, we knocked him out of the sky. Let's do one of these. Nice. Ow. Well, we got the head break. We got sent to sleep. We don't have any energy drinks, so we're going to kind of need to rely on our cats to wake us up. Or just a small wing hit to wake us up, that works too. Oh, he might send that towards us. Gotta be careful. No. We broke something else there. I don't think this monster is particularly long for this world. A lot of stuff is breaking. Um... He's going to fly off to somewhere else. I'm just waiting to see where. Up to five. A lot of stuff is breaking and he's kind of exhausted, so we could get a bunch of big damage in here. I'm going to try and go for this trance slash again. Oh, perfect. That got the entire combo off. Probably shouldn't have gone in for a hit there, that was fine. Oh, we just got clipped by the wing there. Maybe we see if we can get a ride oh, with getting sent flying there. That's fine, he's not doing too much damage. God, yeah, he's exhausted. Let's have another Mega Potion just while he's getting back out. Try and bait him over here again and see if we can get a ride, because if we can topple him from a ride, that could be a lot more damage. Oh. He's flying off again. Okay, we've just got to kind of follow. Going back to four by the looks of things. Yeah. Okay, let's head back here. Not gonna give him a chance to rest or eat or anything. He'll probably get angry with us in a second. Still exhausted, because you can see by the draw. Oh. There's that one. Kind of wish there was like a ledge around here. Can we climb this tree? I know in some games you can like climb up stuff to get a jumping attack. I don't remember if this is one of them. 
Yeah, he's angry now, so he's going to be much faster. We need to be wary of that. Oh, he's moving the sleep beam around. Ow. He's going to send that flying. Yeah. Oh, that tagged us in the end. Oh god. <laughs> I just ran out of the area with the confusion. Um, let's just eat a bit of bug. Stops us being confused. Might as well sharpen again while we're here, if this Jaggy will let us. Well. Just crunch another mega potion. Alright, let's get back in there. Oh god, he's right there. Still angry. Oh, I didn't quite get the right angle for the dodge. We might be stunned here. Dodge that. Let's try and grab this shiny. and get as much of damage as we can here. Oh, what a finisher! Then we can do the energy charge. Do that. Just go straight into one of these. Hell yeah, what a way to finish the fight. God, I'm proud of that one. That was sick. I don't think this guy really stood a chance. I'm not good at switch axe by any means, but that did feel really good to do. <laughs> Let me take a drink here. Oh, that was fun. Enjoyed that fight. This should unlock us a new tier of quests. Let's grab some honey while we're here. Um, and a bunch of new monsters to hunt as well. Why did you hit me? Yeah, that was very rude. Okay. Yeah, we got... We ended up breaking, I think, both wings and the tail and his head. So that's about as much as you can break on him, I think. You might be able to break his head one more time. But he didn't really stand a chance in the end. We just kind of dismantled him. So we've got Azure Feathers, uh, Malfestio Webbings, Malfestio Wing Talons, and a Tail Feather as well, nice. Cool. Plenty of points, plenty of zenny. We've got a new couple of ingredients as well. Hell yeah. Now, lots of people will probably want to talk to us. That's usually the case when you go up a... Uh, here. I think the bistro is upgraded. Let's go talk to her first. Oh, darling, I just got my paws on some new ingredients. Yeah, okay. So now Festio Roast can go with this for all oh, attack M. Nice. Goes with Ancient Sea Bream as well. Gets Ice Rose. I don't think there was anything else that we unlocked this time around. 
Darling, get this. With your help, I've expanded both my menu and the bistro. Not just a makeover, now cooks get fired up more often and food skills trigger more easily too. I've also added some new dishes to the menu, so please try something. Okay. Let's talk to the Caravaneer. Well, if it ain't the White Academy Hunter, how have you been? Good? Good. good. Heard you've been doing some mighty fine work as a hunter, hunter lately. Fine enough for me to trust you with something. You ever heard of a little place called Valhabar? It's sort of a wandering marketplace, so you won't find it on any maps. I got some old merchant friends there who were attacked by some Gendro mounting the dunes. All their bits and pieces are still intact, thankfully, but they're trapped there until someone can help them. It's not just them, though. If we let those gem drones tramp all over the dunes, we can say goodbye to one of the most important trade routes in the region. So, how about it? Will you help us out and hunt those gem drones? You will? Hop, but Tutti, I knew I could count on you. Good luck. Oh, that's a Hunterthon one, which gets you some stuff. So, Hunterthons are hunt as many of this monster as you want, or hunt two of them in an the ticket. Howdy, darling. Pleasure seeing you. Did you know we're now able to prepare rife roast here? That means we can start roasting up raw fish and meat for you while you're out on quests. Ordering a rife roast is easy enough. Just pick rife. Request rife roast. That's hard to say. And we'll pre prepare it. But we can't make anything unless you bring us raw meat or fish. So keep that on you. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's go talk to the Waikadami guy, the chief researcher. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are, Deputy. I have some new reports for you to review. There, I've added the data to the monster list in your Hunter Notes in the Start menu. I trust you've been making extensive observational notes yourself. I'll have new reports for you soon. Okay, same as usual. Expanded stock again. Hunter, I was surprised to hear the other day that you've been really hacking down a lot of monsters lately. So guess what? I went out and stocked some more things for you to throw your Zeny at. First, the Odrin. Say goodbye to that unfortunate body odour of yours. It also works on monster stench. And then, of course, I've also updated the selection of ammo, coatings, and lots more. Okay. I think we will buy an organizer guide. Just increases the storage capacity of your item box, so it's handy to have, and we've got plenty of money for now. Alright, let's talk to the Burner Chief. Hunter, you spoil us with your immutable prowess as a hunter. Good work. With the Malfest you gone, the survey team can resume its nighttime research. With a small reward, allow you allow me to give you this burner ticket. Also effective immediately, you now have permission to initiate four star quests. There's no rest for the weary, I fear. We're counting on you out there. Nice. So this will be the four star quests. Woohoo, hunter person. I heard you asked to be out. It's a bit of a shame though. I bet if we'd trained it right, we could have used it as a profitable cure for insomnia. Too bad. Oh well, now that you've done that, you can start doing four-star quests. Hoot! I mean woot. Maybe we can find some interesting monsters that will attract more tourists. Anyway, let's have a look at the four-star quests. We've got the volcano now as well. Nice. We've got eternal fossils in the frontier. That's where Arathian shows up as well. Hunterthon Geandrome. Mining in the dunes. Wrath of the Rathian. That's a Rathian and the Verdant Hills, Hunterthon Kutku, Blankonga, Tulagombi, Nagakuga, Pepsicabra, Najarala, Double Kezu, plenty of stuff, a Shogun Sianatar, which we can capture. Oh, there's plenty, plenty of things to be getting on with. Um, I think what I'm gonna do. Oh, she's talking to us again. Mm, yeah, I definitely need the taste to be a bit stronger, but it's already pretty bitter. Oh, hi hi, hunter person, didn't see you there. You liked here at all? Burnout actually has this really great recipe that's made from ferns. But it's like, how do I put it? It has no pizzazz. It doesn't really pop. Burner's actually known for a lot of popular exports already, like mufa pelts and cheese. I want to make this tea famous too, but the current recipe just can't compete. What's it missing? What's it missing? Aha, of course. There's this fern in the Jurassic Frontier that the Y Academy's been studying. A unique fern. If I could get my hands on some, the new and improved tea is sure to draw people to Burner. Alright, gather a person, go get me some unique ferns in the Jurassic Frontier, got it? Oh, we get some... That's a... that gives us a reward for um, the proprietress, a new ingredient. Let's talk to the smithy. This is a lot of talking. Hey there, Skippy, I heard you trampled all over that Malfest here. You done good, kid. I bet you're wanting something a little more substantial than just words of praise, though, eh? 
I've got just the thing, an armor sphere plus. This puppy will help you upgrade your armor even further. Regular armor spheres can only take you so far, so use these to add even more defense to your armor. Like with the normal ones, you can find these in the field or as quest rewards. And if you're up for combining, you can combine an armor stone with Dragonite, Aurora, Herculodrome. But as always, doing is learning. Take that sphere and select upgrade equipment to test it out. Did we only get one? Because we do kind of need armor sphere pluses for this. We got five. Nice. So let's upgrade our armor one step further. Oh, we can upgrade the... Um... Oh, maybe that's what we... What I'll do, like, between... Because to upgrade it even further, uh, it requires Jaggy and Bulldrone materials. We can use two Vilfango Head for these ones. And then that gets us as high as we can go for now. 32 defense. Well, this is a significant upgrade with the monster parts, so yeah, let's definitely do this. And then we just need to do some jaggy hunting. And it should just be low rank jaggy stuff, right? That works. Okay, and then we can upgrade those a bit further. I'll do that maybe between sessions, though. If we have a look at our status now. Our defense is up to 117. That's not bad. Um, right, I'm going to pause the recording real quick and have a look at what the key quests are for this level and what sort of unlocks what. So I'll be back in a second here, and then we can decide what to take on next. Okay, I've looked up all the key quests. I think, first things first, what we're going to do... Um, if we just have a look here, order a meal... Do we have a fire res somewhere? Yeah, that'll do. Let's try and get Gatherer Woodsman. I want to do the harvest tour in the volcano, real quick. Uh, I won't make you guys watch all that. I'll just pause it and then bring you back in if uh, anything interesting happens. Although I can't imagine it will. Uh, I just want to see if I can get some Dragonite ore. Um, and it helps if I actually pick the quest up. And then we can maybe look at upgrading the weapon a bit further. And see what the level 5 versions are. Um, oh, there's also this unique Kappa quest. Cool. So, let's grab the Harvest Tour. Let's go have a quick look at the Volcano. I've been in so many volcanoes in Monster Hunter, I don't actually remember which one this is. So we'll check that out. Is this the Tri Volcano or Freedom Unite? Let's have a look at the map. Um, <clears throat> I don't quite remember which one this is. Possibly Freedom Unite. Although, actually, I think Agnactor is up in 6 and 8, so maybe it's the Tri one. I think this is the volcano they reprised in Rise as well, if I remember rightly. But I'm going to do a bit of gathering anyway. I'll bring you back in... Uh, once I've finished that off, um, we're just going to see if I can get some Dragonite. Get my cool drinks at the ready as well. Um, and what all else we can get from here. So yeah, nothing too much should happen, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I'll bring you back in in a little bit. Okay, I am back here in base camp. Done. Uh, a bit over five minutes of gathering. Quite a bit. I got a full inventory in the end. Um, 
but let's take a nap in the bed. We've got plenty of good stuff, quite a bit of Dragonite ore. Um, among other things, we've got a Mystery Charm as well, so we'll see what Talisman that gives us, if it's anything good. Um, and then we'll pick another monster to hunt. I think this is the Freedom Unite Volcano. I could be wrong, but I, it feels like it. Just based on running around it. But equally, I could just be forgetting that it's the Fire Volcano. Oh, we got three Mystery Charms. So Gluttony 5, Blast Coating Plus, and Precision. We'll send that one and then sell the others. Got quite a few like Academy points as well, which is really nice. Sweet, let's save there. And I think we're gonna make a weapon upgrade. Do you wanna talk to us? You do. Usually this guy. New hunter arts. Oh, it's upgraded some of them. Sweet. Nice. Okay, that's fun. Uh, I want to go through here as well. New areas for the Meowster Hunters. Coastal locale. Nice. I'm not reading everything that these people say. Why not? Oh no, our people have run out of um Well let's give them a cat nap then. Restore their enthusiasm. Uh, let's check this guy. Aha. New special goods. Okay. Cool. Kind of was hoping that we'd get like a second trading option there at some point. Apparently not quite yet though. Um, I think I know what quest I want to take on, but first let's upgrade our weapon. So we can uh, upgrade this. Let's we'll use carpenter bugs, we've got loads of those. Oh, okay. Well, X and Obsidian X, and then that unlocks at level 6, which requires uh, high rank stuff. It's Carbolite Ore. We might end up heading for the Bolt X. I quite like the Yako's weapons. Um, but we're going to continue using this. We're going to hunt a Rathian next. So let's take that quest. Wrath of the Rathian. This is one of the key quests for this level. Let's go for this one. Let's go for Polisher. Okay. Let's sort our items out. Uh, we're just down on bug nets. Uh, yeah, I'll just make one of those. We've got some antidotes. We need to make some more.
I think it should give us uh, a few antidotes on the quest because Rathian can poison you. Um, let's go and give this a go though. Dang, Rathian, ambushed my caravan and tore my business a new one. But I ain't get the getting mad type, I'm the getting even type. Time for some ice cold revenge, and I want you to dish it out. Nice, we're in the verdant hills here. Yeah, it gave us two antidotes, so we got a couple of free ones. Let's eat the rations. I'm trying to think where this will show up. Possibly in four is where we need to make our way to, so I'm going to run it up through uh, one, two, three to get there. And then, if she's not there, I'm not sure where she's going to be. <laughs> so we'll be hoping she's there. Let's get our paint balls at the ready for when we find her. So Rathian is one of the monsters that's been in every single Monster Hunter game. She's very much one of the faces of the franchise. Rathian and Rathalos tend to be the two that always go together as some of the most recognizable monsters. Oh no, she's not here. Is she in five then? If she's not in five, I might have to rethink. I don't think our fire resist is that good on this army, so we need to be a little bit careful. Let's dodge the roar. And that's her main move, is that tail flip. What we can try and do when she does the tail flip is try and hit her tail a bit. If we can cut that off, that'll be great. As soon as she takes a step back, that's what she's doing. Okay, got some good damage on her. She likes flying a lot, but not as much as Rathalos does. Rathalos flies a lot, a lot. We've also got these flash bombs for when she takes off. Let's see if we can trip her up. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, she also has the instant tail move while well, she's already flying. Oh, I didn't. I thought she was doing a flip there, so I thought I was safe to run back in. Oh, we got the trip, so let's just. She's eating Fennec, so now is a really good time to grab this shiny. It's only a Wyvern Tears. You can get plates from the shinies. Plates are the rare drops. Oh, that's unlucky. We just got clipped by the side of that fireball. I was going to try and go for her head while she was shooting those. If you get set on fire, you can roll three times to put it out. Um... Trying to be a little bit careful about this. A couple more hits there. Let's see if we can knock her out of the sky. Nice. Go after that tail again. Oh, if she didn't fireball there, we'd have been fine. She was just using a random move because she was stunned. That was almost really good. Let's heal up a bit. Got another shiny here, so let's grab that. She might run at us for it. But... Another Wyvern tier. Okay, I think she's running away. Yeah, she's flying up. Oh, 
thought I was a bit closer than that. There we go. So yeah, she is one that definitely benefits from cutting the tail off. As in, we benefit from cutting her tail off. She doesn't benefit much if we cut her tail off. We can also break the head and both wings. And the Switch Axe is a pretty good weapon for cutting tails, because it has quite a high reach sometimes. Also going to try and get a jumping attack on her. Oh, we missed. So her head is definitely broken. We've broken one of the wings as well. Now let's go for the jumping attack. Let's see if we can get the mount, because tripping her up and getting to attack her tail a bit more would be very nice. Knocked her out of the sky with it as well. Perfect. Hold on to dear life while she rolls. And while she rolls again. And she's toppled. Okay, let's see if we can't go for that tail. Got it. Right. And as usual, tail cutting antics. We have to carve right away. Except she's gonna yell at us and not let us. Let's bait the attack that way and then see if we can get in. We got a raffinum scale. I think tails do last a little bit longer in this game. We might get stunned here, which would be unfortunate. Yeah. shooting at one of our cats, so that's a good opportunity to heal. And that is why cutting the tail off can be pretty handy, because that has less range. Dodge out of the way there, just make sure she's not hitting us. Now we're going to go for Trance Slash again. Unfortunate that we only hit the wing with that explosion because she tripped. Still some good damage. She's probably leaving now, yeah. I reckon she's fairly injured, you know. Let's eat a ration. She's heading up to three. But she's not trying to go to sleep yet, because she'd head to five if she was doing that. Uh, let's quickly sharpen. You can tell that she's arrived at 3, because the uh, Aptonoth have run from 3 into 4 now. It's cool that like small monsters do migrate like that. She's gonna yell. Got the other wing break. She is very... Uh, she's a bit tired now. I was trying to knock her out of the sky. But as we do, I have a flash bomb if she takes off again. Tripped her up. Let's try and just do a bunch of good damage. We kind of missed with that, that's fine. She's angry again, you can tell by the fire coming out of her mouth. He's limping very much, yeah. Couldn't quite keep her here. Okay, that's fine. She's gonna probably head either to four and then on to five after that to sleep, or head straight to five. Uh, no, she's heading down to two, okay. In that case, we will give chase. We have the energy charge ready to do the slash at the end of that. Might be one of her eating areas, I'm not sure. Let's dive out of the way of that. It's a big explosion. Oh, we got it. That was pretty quick. Less than 10 minutes for that one. Absolutely will take that. Let's 
carve her up. Nice. That is Rathian dealt with. I was trying to find like a mining spot or something, but I guess there isn't one there. Oh well. Um, I think what I might do for the last bit of the video today is uh, do a quest for some jaggy materials off screen so we can upgrade those last two armor pieces. Um, and then that will probably be the armor set that carries us to the end of this. So what do we get? We got a scale, flame sacks, a spike, a shell and a wing talon. And then some webbing. That's basically everything except the plate. Uh, I don't think we've got a claw either. Yeah, 9 minutes, 4 seconds. That's really solid for a first Rathian. <laughs> Although I have hunt her many, many times in other games, so I have plenty of experience at her attack patterns and things like that. Um, I think off screen as well, I'll go around and collect any of the other quests. Um, and if there are any interesting ones, I'll show you guys them. Um, but yeah, I will be right back once I've hunted some Jaggy. And, uh, and once we've got stuff for this armor upgrade, and once we've picked those quests up. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I'll show you in here what I've done. There is a two-star quest, I believe, called Howling Harassment, which we hadn't completed before, but we have now. It didn't get us any particular rewards, uh, but it was just a quest in the Misty Peaks at night time to kill 15 Jaggy, which we did, and that has given us plenty of materials to upgrade with. So let's go and do that. I'll upgrade the coat. Uh, we'll just chuck five Jaggy hide at that one. And that's another 8 defense for us, which is really nice. I don't think we get advanced armor spheres until high rank, so this is probably as far as it goes. And then we've got the folds as well. Do two of those, three of those. Keep it about even. Nice. So, if we have a look at our status, we've got 133 defense now, which is way more than we had before. We've still got the attack up large skill. Uh, which is really all we're going to need for the rest of the game. So I think aside from like weapon upgrades, we can pretty much carry ourselves to the end on this armor set. Um, I don't have as much time to record today, so this is probably going to be the episode. I've had a look at the key quests, and I think the other ones would take quite a while. Uh, one of the key quests, Joy of Joys, is double Kezu. Um, so we won't be doing that one today, but... Um, Hopefully we'll be getting some good progress towards 5-star quests in the next episode. Um, including a Nagakuba fight, which is always a fun time. Another iconic Monster Hunter monster um, is Nagakuga, so I'm excited to take that one on. And it usually has a pretty good weapon set as well. I think one of the upgrade paths we could take one of our Sword and Shields is the Nagakuga path, so maybe we do that. Um, but that will be it for me for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll be back in the next one. Have a good one everyone. Bye bye.